Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today we're gonna to be talking about the benefits of black seed oil. This is an amazing herb, which means it's a plant-based ingredient that has tremendous properties that can impact your health and benefit things like your thyroid, your weight, your immune system, and so on. We'll be talking about all of these. And if by the end of this video, you're not convinced that you should be at least considering taking black seed oil, then I probably haven't done my job because it is truly an amazing herb. Now, to start with, I wanna just mention something. So this does have some roots um, in religion, and it has been said that the Prophet Muhammad stated that the black seeds are a cure for everything except death. So that's a pretty lofty statement. However, I will say by the end of this, I think we will find that that's not that far from the truth. So where does where do black seed where does black seed oil come from? It comes from the plant Nigella sativa. So that's the plant. And by the way, you can get that plant uh, in powder form if you'd like to. So I'll be talking about how to supplement and how to take this a little bit later. But there are different stages of the ingredients and and the process by which we obtain black seed oil, which will become apparent as we talk about this. But the plant Nigella sativa produces black seeds. We then cold press those black seeds to get black seed oil. And then within black seed oil, we have a number of beneficial compounds, which probably confer a lot of the benefits that we will be seeing and talking about in just a minute. Those compounds include THQ, which stands for thymoquinone, P-cymine, carvacrol, and free fatty acids, which I've abbreviated as FFA. Now it's probably the most active compound is probably the THQ, but my research has suggested that it's a combination of the ratio between these various ingredients, which confers a lot of the benefit. So you can't just take an isolated THQ supplement um, by itself because those exist. You don't get the same benefits just taking thymoquinone as you do taking thymoquinone in conjunction with P-cymine, carbacrol, and free fatty acids in various ratios. So don't think that you can just jump out there and take, you know, skip all the way down here to the THQ and get all the benefits because I don't think that that's the case. And you can supplement with these at various forms, which again, we'll talk about in a minute. So we'll come over here. I wanna talk about some of the benefits. Now in ancient times, which means civilizations long ago, there were sort of, uh, they had various uses for this plant. And those uses included things like treating asthma, treating any type of fever, bronchitis, cough, congestion, dizziness, paralysis, headaches, back pain, and inflammation. So we know that these civilizations, they determined just through trial and error that these conditions were treated when people were given black seed oil. Now today we have the advantage of looking at pharmacological studies and using research and science to determine what type of benefits we can see uh, are obtained when using black seed oil. And that list confirms a lot of the suspicions that you might have by, by going back and looking at what the ancient civilizations used it for. And I'll talk about those next. And this is where things get really impressive. So we know through studies and research that black seed oil has anti-diabetic properties, which means it's helpful for treating diabetes, high blood sugar, and insulin resistance. It has anti-tussive properties, which means it acts as a cough suppressant, it has anti-cancer benefits, which is obvious, antioxidant benefits, it is hepatoprotective, which means it protects your liver from damage. It's also neuroprotective, which means it protects your, your brain. It's gastroprotective, which means it protects the gastrointestinal tract, all, by the way, starting at the mouth and the sinuses, all the way down through the, the stomach, the small intestines, and the colon. It acts as an immunomodulator, which means it balances the immune system. It has analgesic properties, which means it can fight pain, which is probably why they use it for back pain. It has antimicrobial benefits, it, which is a, means it acts as an um, antibiotic. Anti, uh, it has anti-inflammatory benefits. It acts as a spasmolytic, which means it relaxes smooth muscles. And it acts as a bronchodilator, which is probably why it was beneficial for asthma. So these are some pretty significant broad benefits, but I would say there's also a couple more that weren't listed here that I wanna focus on a little bit. And that would be its prothyroid benefits and its benefit on weight. So when we look at studies, we see that taking black seed oil has a special benefit for patients who have Hashimoto's thyroiditis. In fact, the studies show that it can help reduce thyroid antibodies and simultaneously increase free thyroid hormone levels and thyroid function more generally, which is a huge benefit to a lot of people, especially many of the people listening to this, including you, um, but also because we know 
thyroid disease is becoming more and more common. And then secondly, it also has a benefit that we are seeing now on weight and weight management. So patients are, are using this for weight loss as well. Now that probably wasn't seen in, in ancient times, probably because my guess would be that not as many people back then were dealing with weight to the same degree that we deal with it now. So it probably was still conferring some benefit back then, they just didn't really see it because it was washed out with all the other benefits that they had at the time. But yes, it can have a positive benefit on weight, usually in shrinking um, measurements. It doesn't usually have an impact on the scale as much as it has a impact on the you know waist measurements, circumference, um, and things of that nature. But yes, it can be used to help assist with weight loss. So the question is, how do you use it? How much should you be taking? Now I have several different little buckets we're gonna be talking about. If you are trying to use it for general health, the dose of black seed oil that you should be taking is 500 milligrams per day. That is just if you wanna maintain normal health in your body and you just wanna make sure everything is functioning, functioning smoothly. So that's just a kind of a, a half dose of what is considered normal. If you are trying to use it for something specific, so that may mean you have a thyroid disease, or that may mean you're trying to lose weight, or that may mean you have an autoimmune disease or something of that nature, some condition, back pain, asthma, whatever it is, some chronic condition you're trying to treat, the dose is 1,000 milligrams per day. So that would be split up into 500 milligrams taken twice. So you need to take 500 milligrams once in the morning, 500 milligrams once in the evening. And then lastly, you can use black seed oil to treat acute conditions. So that might be something like an upper respiratory infection um, or some other infection that you're dealing with, maybe a virus of, of some sort. Now I'll give you an anecdotal experience uh, of my experience using black seed oil to treat a sinus infection. So I had a sinus infection that was going on, you know, 10 days, almost two weeks. So it's getting up to that point where I was going to have to consider taking an antibiotic. And so I'm like, I'm just going to try knocking this out with black seed oil because I have a lot of it. So I started taking it. I took 500 milligrams eight times each day for about two days straight. And by the end of the second day, it was completely gone. So that's just an anecdotal experience. I'm not recommending that you do this, but I'm giving you an idea of how it could potentially be used. I would be cautious using that high of a dose every single day for multiple days, but it may be okay to use that kind of dose acutely to treat some specific condition. Now, as you can see, black seed oil has tremendous benefits on multiple medical conditions, but it is not the only herb or botanical ingredient that can help you feel better. If you're interested in learning about the power of plants and how they can potentially help impact your body in a positive way, I'd recommend checking out this video, which discusses how to improve adrenal function by eating certain foods which are rich in adaptogens next.